Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. We're going to continue on working with the view row info, which is a Java class that represents the row in a table or in the view object if you want to look at it from that point of view. In the first example, we did a get salary, which utilizes the get salary accessor, which is somewhere down here. Here it is. This accessor is grabbing the data. But we're using it up at the top here. And there's another way of doing it also, and this is using the less strongly typed um, way. Um, we're getting the salary another way and return number, and we're casting it to a number because, of course, it is a number. Returns probably as an object. And get attribute, and we actually spell, type in the word salary here. Now, if you misspell it, you're not going to find that out until design time. And if this course, if you misspell this, you're going to get a, a big fat red mark somewhere here. There it is. So um, it's generally... Uh, better to get do it this way, although you are instantiating a number of different um, variables when you do that. So you probably want to just stick to what you need necessarily. But this is one way of doing it. And uh, we will now expose that on the view object. So we come over here and I, now, I think it's get salary another way. Yes, here it is. And we come over and we refresh our data control. And now we have get salary another way. Let's go to our main. And this is going to come in as a button. It'd be nice actually if it came in as a parameter form because this is rather important. We'll save that and run it. Okay, here's our form. We have the show salary one way. And we have show salary the other way using the get attribute with the typed in value here. So both work. This is probably considered better from the standpoint of not finding out if you've misspelled something until, design, until it runs. I hope this is of value and um, have a good evening.